by the way. It rained. So we unloaded the combine Saturday. Um, it kind of misted Saturday night. And then Sunday, it misted basically all day long. Um, and then Monday, it was pretty gloomy. So now it's Tuesday, um, and now we are heading out to the field. The reason why we didn't go out to the field, you know, when we got here, um, was the roads are really bad, and we don't want to sling mud or make ruts in the roads. Well, we almost beat the train. It's okay. It still looks pretty cool. It amazes me how much weight they can pull though. I don't know how many millions of pounds is being pulled right now. Like right now, it's still going up my window. That's the railroad crossing. And it just keeps on going and going and going. And then it goes around the corner and goes back over that wheat field off in the distance. That, ladies and gentlemen, is called a bagger. You all will see plenty of footage of that. Instead of trucking all of this wheat, uh, we all put it in a bag and store it inside the field. But I'm pretty sure this year we are gonna run trucks. So if a truck is here, then we're gonna load the truck. If not, it's gonna go in the bag, uh, just to kind of keep this operation going. There's gonna be four combines, two grain carts that the farmer has, we're gonna have two combines and a grain cart that we have. So that's six combines, three grain carts. That's a lot of bushels going through. Um, so if the trucks aren't keeping up, we're gonna put it in the bag. I don't think we're cutting today, so that's pretty much it. Well, I guess the race has started. It's really hard to tell who's in what combine because they are all the exact same and the numbers are really small so I couldn't tell you who's where. I do know Emma is in that one. If you don't know who Emma is, Emma is Ag with Emma on every single social media platform ever. Um, I know she's really big on TikTok and YouTube. You should definitely go check her out. She does farm hand work and farm tours all over the United States technically world she did go to Australia um, Emma actually ran our grain cart last year and um, YouTube that so if you want to go to her channel I will link it in the description and y'all can go check out that and see some harvesting action from last year and of this year I'm sure she'll be posting this year as well Also the iPad mount, 
and the iPad, I don't know if you can see it down there, has made a new home of the floorboard. Um, about the third time of it kissing my forehead, unexpectedly. Um, it's new home is down there now. I've never had a problem of it actually falling um, until now. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Evidently, I don't know how to work a suction cup mount, so it's staying down there. I don't know how many acres were in that one, but we finished. I don't think y'all understand how big a 9RX is. That tractor is huge. I have like half of the field's dirt on my hat right now. Like when did I get that? I don't even know when I got dirt on my hat. I don't remember touching my head to anything. I either have dirt on my face, dirt on my hat. It's a never ending cycle, man. just as much as I can. I wish John Deere would make a, uh, a side shade, kind of like how they make the uh, the quarter one on the front. I say quarter one because it only covers quarter of the front, not the sides. Yeah, that one. I didn't know mom's birthday was yesterday. Her birthday wasn't very eventful. We wish we were cutting, but uh, we sat in the camper because it was too wet. So We did go eat though. We ate at a Japanese steakhouse. So good. field. Um, the four other combines already left like hours ago, so I wouldn't be surprised if they're already wrapping that third field up. If not, I think pretty little Joel broke a sickle or something and the one that they were had spare in the header was worse than the one that was broke, so I think he may be down for tonight. A couple videos ago, I actually broke my sickle. Um, I know that feeling.
I guess that's the broke down combine that has the broken sickle. And I have no idea what shape form this field is, and I'm running into it at night, and me and mom are already lost, so this is going to be interesting. There's some obstacles out here on this one. I think we have trees, power line, power poles, which means you really pay attention on this field. I'm not going to hit a tree. You know, there's tree rows, but there is power poles, which on the power poles, power lines, that's questionable. So, but I think the power poles are on that end of the field, so that's good. We finished this field tonight, uh, that means we're done for the day. Cody's being a good grain cart driver and running over the ribbons. A plus. For all the 9870 fans, there you go. It's in its glory. We actually ran two 9770s before, um, before S-Series. Really good combines, I have no complaints. See what's bad about this is I'm lined up with the other, you know, four combines this way. And then it goes like straight, and it's like, mom. <laughs> oh, what am I gonna do with her? Well, that pretty much consists of our first day in North Dakota. Technically, that was a half day. Uh, we did start at like four o'clock, three o'clock, so we're in there. It's considered a half day. But tomorrow should be back to normal with maintenance and all of that in the morning and hopefully covering more ground tomorrow. But that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank y'all for watching and I will see y'all tomorrow.